Hi. Um, back again. Um, hopefully it's going to be a shorter video this time. Most of my videos lately have been um, about half hour long and, or more. But as you see from the opening bits there, I've got the old um, Corgi um, Maserati. So um, that's what we're going to have a go at today. So it shouldn't be too much of a big job. I think the only thing wrong with this is the actual steering. Because if you look, if you look there, one wheel goes one way and one goes the other. I mean, it's the bar. There's a bar there, and it's come out. I think that's going to be the um, challenge on this one. But the rest of it is going to be just the normal thing: strip, respray, reassemble. So let's get on with it. Right. So as always, first bit is um get the uh, get this thing open so as you see i've got the same problem i had with the fab one the bottom of the um the rivets are slightly rounded off so i have to get my file i think i'm gonna have to use a little the little short stubbly file for this because we're in a lot of room here and just try and file that a bit flat like i showed you before just enough to get so I can get a punch in there just try and flatten it off as best I can because I've got to get a punch in there to try and get me um, starter out for the for the drill there I managed to get that off so it's a bit awkward there because there is a little, little bit of a ridge there and the other one I could use the actual the other foil for that actually Use my um, bigger one for that. Just flatten that one off slightly. And there we go. I can get a punch in there now. I'll get these um, punched out in a minute and then um, get it drilled open. Oh, I did actually manage to start these holes off with the drill without punching I'm just going to try and get it going now keep it nice and slow because this is a, a little delicate little model and you don't want to go too fierce with this I mean, all I want to do is get these rivet heads off at the moment. I'm not worried about drilling down, you know, for the new rivets until I've got the actual thing totally apart. So I just want to go down far enough just to get these heads off. Right, that's all you've got to do. That's enough for that one. Tip that in me. Been there. And a bit on the other one. Get the other back, the back one done. Got to watch where you put your fingers here because this is fragile on the back of here. You don't want to go breaking anything. And just do the same again. So nice and slow, and then speed it up. Gone in nicely there. That's a good good old drill this. Done his part. As you can see there's the um part that I was done. Then I get me um trusty old battery, the other battery drill. And we get the heads off now. if I can rest that down there without yeah I don't know I'm not too keen on that I'll, I'll carry on holding it with my hand I think right just a little bit more such a fiddly little car this is just 
keep it going until you get down to the level of the actual base plate and that ain't too bad there that should come off pretty easily do the same on the top one I'm going to jump forward I think to the next scene you don't want to really see me drill these out you get the idea save a bit of time I've done that one that I'll do the same with this one here and then we'll see well it should be next scene should be prizing this apart well there you go get the idea I'll get my little prizing tool my screwdriver I've drilled the back one off a bit that it's come it's down to the actual base plate now and I've like picked off the the other bits so hopefully this should now come apart quite easily there you go how easy can that be don't need that anymore just lift off and that's all it is the base plate that's just a little it's nothing is it it's just a little thin piece there's a little spring in there look that is for your, the steering bar, which I think is bent actually, and it's going to have to be um, straightened out. I think mean, all this comes out, if I remember last time I did one of these. If I get the driver out, the, all the rest of it should just drop out. There's a driver, because he, when you when you put this back together, this bar, it connects with this bar, and as you turn his head like that, the wheels turn. Well, they're meant to, but they're not on this one. All right, there's the bar. If you look at this bar, you can see it is slightly bent. That should be dead straight. So it is slightly bent. Coming back this way, if you can see it. I don't know if you can see that. It's only a slight bend, but it does matter. Believe me, these little, these things are so intricate. If you haven't got it all set up properly, it won't work properly. I'll get my tweezers here because these are little fine little parts here. That comes out there. Now, as you can see, that this here could actually be doing with being squeezed together a bit more as well because it's not quite on the wheel. That. Look at the play. And you see the play there. Look how much play there is. These here are some have come apart. How that's happened, I have no idea. But I mean, all that takes is a pair of pliers and just squeeze that slightly together so it's a bit tighter. And that'll give you steering. You can't do it too much because these bits turn, let's say. So you, you know, you can't be too tight with it. But a little bit more ink on like that. Remember which way it goes up, the hole actually goes on the bottom. And I think what I've noticed here, I don't know if you can see that, there's a little pin in there. If I can just show you, there is a little pin there that, what I found, that could be our steering problem because there's a little bit there that pin sticks onto there so I'm going to have to try and stick that back but I can't do it until I've actually stripped the car I'm going to have to repaint the car and then put that stick that back onto there and the way to do that I'll show you later super glue and bicarbonate and soda and I'll tell you what use that as a combination it, it ends up like concrete you will not get that off again. Well, you would do if you really tried, but that's where it's gone wrong. That's where the steering's gone wrong because that's not holding the, the front axle. So that piece there, we mustn't lose that. So I should stick that there for now. And then all this lot here should just pull out. I'll put me tweezers down there. Because I only just go through the top of these. Um, if, I, if I take that piece of wire out, that only pushes in anyway. Yeah, it just clips in, let's say. 
There's nothing hard about that piece. All this just pushes out. Look at me. I'll show you that if you push it down through the top of there. But you've got to be very careful with it because it's, it's so flimsy, this stuff. You don't want to snap it because all this bit here, this is all plastic. It's going to be cleaned up and re -chromed. And I shall show you how I re chrome things. Something's fell out there. Oh, I see it. Exhaust. That's all right. That's plastic as well. That's got to be re chromed. But I've actually got a, a nice little chrome pen that I use for all that. And it does come out like real chrome when it's dried. This is so awkward because I'm afraid I'm going to break it, you see. It will come out eventually. Perhaps if I take these lights out and stuff first, I might help it along. Just get them, there's like a little lip there. Just get them past that little lip. God, this is so awkward. I don't know why, why I do this sometimes. It's such an awkward little job to do these are. There's a little lip there as well. You've got to be so careful you don't break anything. I think I'll use, use my screwdriver on that. It's a bit more leverage, as you'd say. There it goes. Now that's... Oh, the engine's fell out now. See, it's all coming out now. Told you it was easy. Alright, that's come out of that lip. So that one can come out now, the windscreen. He just lifts out. And now that bit is clipped in underneath as well. But I should be able to get this piece out now. There it goes. You see? Now the back, this back piece is alright. The wheels are a bit worse for wear. I'm just hoping I've got some tyres for this. Because it's a funny sized tyre on this one. I might be able to um, substitute it with um, some sort of tyre. I'll have to look in my box later and see what I've got. But all this has got to be cleaned and repainted with me, um, me chrome pen. I think I might do the wheels with it as well, actually. Give them a quick brush up and chrome the whole lot of this. Obviously not the axle, I shan't bother so much with that so much. Because that looks alright with the metal colour. But I should give all this a clean up and chrome it up and look for some tyres. The engine, obviously, I should just leave that as it's meant to be, because that was never chromed anyway. I'll just give that a shine up with my wire brush. Maserati that written on the side. Mustn't lose this little piece, obviously. That there can have me um, glass treatment. I have to get these lights out. These got to be treated, haven't they? They got to be chromed, and that's all they do is just push out that, and it just pops off. So now all this can now be drilled. I can drill some holes in the air for me rivets, and then all this can be stripped so that it can be um, reassembled. And that's it. That, but like I say, I can't really do much about the. Um, that's where the pins come from. That you can see the mark. You see, you can see that mark there. That's it. Yeah. That little grey spot there. That's where the pin's broken off for the steering, and that's why Matey can't steer his racing car anymore because he's lost his pin. <laughs> but anyway, I should get on and strip all this next time we see it. We all strip, then we'll try and get this pin fixed back onto there before it gets sprayed. So let's get on with that now. Okay, I've um, cleaned all these bits off now with the um, 
caustic soda. You've seen me do that many times. So I didn't really bother showing you that again. I wire brushed it. It's come out nice and shiny. Base plate's all done. I also give the engine a wire brush with the old wheel. All these bits here, plastic pieces, and that, that I've cleaned all that up. But that's got to be re chromed. I'll show you that later on. But for now, I want to address this piece that's missing. I just showed you earlier on. I don't know if you can see it there. But there's a little mark here where it broke off. So what I'm going to try and do is glue that little piece back on because that's to do with the steering. And I've found a way. There is a way. I've, I've seen it on YouTube before. You've probably seen it yourself somewhere. But I'll show you anyway. If you use bicarbonate of soda, you just put your super glue on there, stick your piece on, and then put bicarbonate solder on it and it's meant to set off like concrete so I'm hoping that it's going to do the job I mean if it doesn't I'm in trouble but I thought it's worth a try I did do it on the Thunderbirds Fab 1 on the plastic pieces and it set off alright on that but I've never tried it on metal so here we go we put a blob of glue on there There's the blob. I'll get my little tweezers and we uh, get this piece. I'm going to try and figure out how it's broken off now. And put it on. Oh, I can't even pick it up. And figure out how it's going to sit. So bear with me folks, I hope I get this right. It's going to be a bit of fun. Ah, hang on, that looks about sitting pretty there. So, I'm going to take a chance that that's right. And put another, another blob of glue around it. So it gives the, um, something to grab hold of. No. If this does what it says it does, or what these other people have said on these other videos, then I'll be very happy. Just get a little shovel full like that. And just chuck it on. That's what they do. So it's, it's not very really dear to buy, so I don't mind. Losing a bit of it. Just chuck it on. I've got my other stuff mucky now. <laughs> I've got to keep that clean because I want to spray that. Don't want to get that dirty. Well, hopefully this will work, folks. I'm going to leave that now. Like it is. And just let that harden up a bit before I start playing around with that. Hopefully that pin will stay there. And we'll have our steering back. But anyway, let's get on the next bit. And the next bit is um, painting up these chrome pieces. Obviously I've got to paint the body. But that'll be in a minute. Right, I've um, I've done the undercoat as you just saw. Speeded it up a bit. Don't see that; it's boring. Right, I've got the same yellow as I used on my dumper, so it looks near enough the same colour. So I'm going to try that now. A little bit of that. It's starting to get a bit windier actually, but I'll, I'll try and get it done. Right, here we go.
I'm not too worried about this bit too much. Just because that's going to be white, but when I mask it, at least it'll be a bit of an undercoat again, I suppose, won't it? I've actually put a glove on this time. As you must have noticed in the last video, when I was spraying the red on that dumper truck, I got more on my bloody hand than I did on the actual truck. Oh, I've put too much paint on there now, that was yapping. I put it on that bit there. No. That don't look too bad. I'm going to get that by my heater now because it's not particularly warm today. There's a bit on the front I've missed. There's a slight little tiny speck there. Right. I can always give it another coat, but that yellow doesn't look too bad. So, um,. We'll let that dry. I won't show you the rest like I never do. <laughs> it's a lacquer. It's all the same same thing, isn't it? So I'll just um let that dry now. And then we'll be um soon be putting this one back together. Won't be long now. And that'll be another one from the box of goodies done. Just thought I'd say this here bit came out at the back of this um, thing. It goes on the back of the car, and I wasn't sure what was what was missing. There is a piece missing. Well, it's supposed to be like a spoiler on the back of there. Obviously, it's not like that, but you can't buy them. So I'm going to cut this here as an old Jaguar spare part. I'm going to cut this along there and try and make a spoiler out of that out of this piece just cut it so far I can get them bits to go into that somehow anyway you'll see how it, see how it comes out it's always better not having anything on there but I just thought I'd just show you that little bit there I, I, only, done it, I only noticed it because I I noticed a clip on um, or a picture on online of the car and it's got the spoiler on the back. I didn't re even realise it was missing, but anyway, that's another little job now I've got to do for this one. But there you go. Never mind, these things are all sent to try us. Right. So, in the meantime, you, it was just a few seconds ago I showed you that piece I had to do. And I've actually done it. There's... I didn't show you all that because, I mean, it would have been a very, very long video. Because <laughs> it took me at least a couple hours to do this. I cut that piece off of there. I used my um, Dremel wheel, cutting wheel. Cut it off as straight as I could. There's a Jag bonnet now. That is, well, it's knackered now, but it came in handy for something. And I've sprayed, um, well, actually... Fold it down the spoiler, and I managed to stick it in. As you can see, I don't know if, it, I don't know if the focus is working okay, but if you can see that, I've made a couple of grooves in them two round pieces and used me um, super glue and the old bicarbonate, stuck it in, and it's gone off pretty hard. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to chrome this up. I've got black undercoat on it at the moment, but I'm going to chrome that up once it's on the car because it'll be a lot easier to handle. Because you can get at it pretty easy, it sits on the back of the car. So it'll be pretty easy to get at. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this one together and put that and chrome it, you know, once it's all put back together. But the only other thing that'll be after that is to be the um, actual number transfers and I haven't got any of them so I'm going to have to show you the finished car without the actual numbers on it because I'm going to either print them off somehow or um, buy them from model supplies but I will show you the car again in, in a later video 
because what I'll probably do is make another little video up of all the ones I've done like you know that's if I haven't got rid of them since but I should try and show them all together but anyway let's get on with putting this back together enough of my waffle obviously as you can see the first piece I think we'll start with is put these um these lights back in and all they do is they just slot in there and the little groove there's a little tiny little groove here that I'm gonna get them in like that they, they clip in quite easily they won't they won't fall out again that and then we put the glass in which I've treated with me special potion I've got a feeling that goes that in first and that slots down so I want to be careful with this I want to wear my glasses for this and I'll get my screwdriver and just push it down very carefully so it clips in don't want to go in there but it's got to go in there because it came out of there in the first place but that's down too far no that looks all right just a case of getting it just right i don't want to don't want to break it just work it in gently It's nearly there. If you want to travel when you put things back together, you've got to be very careful because one false move and it's gone. There it goes. There. I didn't realise actually that it went down so far at the back. It does because it trips underneath, you see. It slopes backwards like that. So, anyway, that's that little bit done. Right then, this is all trial and error now, folks, because I, well, I can't remember how this came apart, really. So I'm hoping I'm doing this right. Um, right, let's try the engine. I suppose that must go on like that. It looks a bit right. I'm pretty sure this bit must be next. Yeah, that looks a bit right. <laughs> this is a bit of a joke watching me do this. <laughs> I shouldn't know what I'm doing, but it doesn't look like I do, do it? I'm supposed to be making a video to show you how to do it, and I don't even know what I'm doing myself. Right, the spoiler. It's got to go in there somehow. It's got to go around there. And it's an awkward little job, is this? And then he pushes in. around that pin somehow I'll get there in a minute I wonder if it goes underneath that piece actually could do actually can it most probably that's what I'm in trouble with it yeah I think it goes underneath and that goes on top that there we go. That looks more like it. How does that look? Yeah, that looks a bit more like it. Goes underneath the, the Sierra exhaust piece, that. That's why it wouldn't go in. Now, this piece just drops in here. Like so. It's about right. I'm checking it as I go because I don't want to go sticking this back together and then finding out I've put it all in wrong. So, you know, that's not sitting very good there. That exhaust piece is not sitting now. I think that spoiler goes underneath this piece. It doesn't look right to me. So if I take that out again, I 
I mean, I could cut all this out and just do it, but I mean, if I'd done that, you wouldn't see the problems <laughs> what you might get yourself if you ever do one of these. So, oh, I've got fingers like tits. Right, here we go. Right, let's try that piece again. Perhaps if I put it in that right now, that might. Well, I'm saying that even more fiddly now. But I get this around here and in towards there. Well, I'll push that there a minute. See, I don't want it interfering with the exhaust. Pretty sure it goes something like that. But it goes a bit further up than it. Let's go go inside, that's it. Right, if I can push that down slightly. Ah, there we go. You see how awkward these things can be when you're putting them back together, especially these things, I tell you. I don't really want to do one of these again in a hurry. No, the wheel just sitting wrong that's it that piece got to be facing downwards I think right that's a bit more like it yeah but it ain't over yet folks because <laughs> we've actually got the front now I'm hoping this ain't going to fall out while I'm messing around with the front the little man goes in upside down Obviously, he's got a, he's got like a little a little groove there where he sits in. Right, now there's front steering. There's a, the pins there, so you got the you got the hole there, so that sits on top of there like that. Drops in on the steering. You got to line your wheels up. This is very be very steady with this because you've got to get that pin in because this got to sit in there and steer it's got to go on and make it make sure it's the right way up the bits there have got to face downwards and then you've got to, it's got to somehow clip into where the little man is as well and I'll use my little tweezers just to line this up it's gone in there. It's going to go in the other steering bit. There it is. I think it's in there. It's in that bit. All right. Yeah. We're getting there. We're getting there. Right. The final bit. This should stop it all moving apart now. Just drop that on. Once that's in, we shouldn't have any more problems. Uh, before I um, stick it together, let's make sure it works. And there it is. Moves the man side to side and the steering's working again. These tyres aren't the right tyres for this car, but they're better than the ones that was on there, so I stuck them on there. Right then. Now, I'll be very careful, I don't want that to break. Right, let's get the rivets in. <coughs> I've got a blob of glue. As always, just drop it in there, and I'll drop a little bit in there as well. What's left on the pin? Get a rivet. Just push it in there. I'll just hold that for a minute. I don't want that coming out anywhere. And then what I'll do once this is dried, I shall um, I'll chrome up this, and then I'll show you the um, finished article. Let's make sure it's still still working. Yeah, that's all right. little blob of glue I'm 
Like that. Get all the little rivet and put in. Like that. Just let he um, let he dry off. So there, that's um, looking alright. Just got to do this now. There you go, that your steers. They'll go wrong, wrong very well, but they never did anyway, really. Like. It's all turning the light, it's just the surface I'm doing it on. But there you go, anyway. Let's chrome this piece up, and then within, the, within a matter of a second, you'll see it all nice and shiny. Well, there you go. It's all been chromed up. And that dries, that look quite good, I think. So there you go, that's the um, Corgi 159. I believe it's uh, Formula One Maserati, or... Cooper Maserati or something they call it but it's all fixed again as you can see he's got his steering back he's got his pin back just move his head side to side like that and there you go I've also done a bit of detail on the on his steering wheel because that wasn't painted before I painted that black and painted his seat black as well you can't see the seat anyway but I thought I'd just do a few little extra bits on it and um well, that's how it is now. A bit better than what it was. So that's another one done out the goodies box. Hope you enjoyed it. It's supposed to have been a short video, but it never is with me. I seem to have natter on so long. I just drag them out, but never mind. As long as you enjoy it, that's all I worry about. But until the next time, it's bye bye from me.